Hey everyone, welcome back to another check-in. This is week four check-in for March 2020 budget. So let's just jump right into it. So as you guys can see here, I have my mason jar full of change. I added some change that I kind of just found while I was cleaning up, but let's just kind of kick it off. We'll take out our cash envelopes. Again, if you guys are curious, I use the Clever Fox budget book and the Clever Fox cash envelopes. Um, links are down below. They did send these uh, items to me and I'm just trying them out. And so far, so good. Okay, so take out our two envelopes that we have. Let's empty our change in here. It's already filling up nicely. All right, so we'll put that to the side. Now we're gonna jump into our budget book and obviously we're going to be doing our last week, week four check-in. Let's do a little zoom for you because there's not much going on for week four as you can tell. And then obviously, as you can tell by the title, we're also going to recap March in general as a budget. So we're gonna do all of these numbers over here as well. All right, so here we go, week four. Let's just start at the top and get this going. So I did have an expense come out from GoDaddy. So my personal website, my domain name had to be renewed because it was going to be expired. And I always just like to have my jerlinfond.com just in case. I'm sure if you guys have watched me for a while, I don't use it that often. I really need to get better with updating it and figuring out how I wanna utilize it with my YouTube channel so I had to renew it and that ended up being $50.35 so let's just write that in and this category is other all right the next thing that we had come out was uh, when I went to get gas at Wawa so that is going under uber slash lyft because it's kind of like my transportation category, and that is $14.81. Gas is extremely cheap right now, so you know, even if I'm at half tank, I just wanna fill it up anyway, um, just to make sure I have my car ready to go if I need to go somewhere. Next thing we have is Easy Pass. This was also in the other category because I didn't realize that my um, Easy Pass account didn't update. Um, it was actually my fault because I had changed bank cards and all of that, and I totally forgot to update my Easy Pass. So when I went into my account, it was frozen and I had to pay. So that ended up being another fifty dollars, <laughs> and that's in other. Mercari. So I actually ended up purchasing a personal planner off Mercari. Mercari is like a buy sell. Um, website. It's kind of like Poshmark, but I ended up finding a Kate Spade planner. I, I've been looking for it for a while and it was such a good deal. So this is going to be under my personal category and I ended up spending $42.72, which is such an amazing deal because this Kate Spade personal planner is going upwards of like $150 to $200 and I found it for $42.72 so I had to buy it and um, that came out of my personal spending. Then I went to Giant which is a grocery store so I'm going to put grocery groceries. Um, I only spent a dollar here and actually that's just that's in our grocery budget right? Let's just double check. Okay. See, I'm still getting used to this, you guys, so please bear with me. So I, I don't know where the receipt is, but we can just take a look at our budget sheet right here. So we had $11, and on 4-2, I did go to Giant, which I'll just write that in, and... I spent $1 because I had to get sour cream because I've been making a lot of banana bread because a lot of my friends and family have been requesting me and asking me to make them banana bread and sour cream is that secret ingredient. Um, so it was like a dollar something and I had the change so I just marked a dollar. So we should have $10 left over. Let's just double check. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm being very careful when I'm handling money, so obviously after I handle this money, I'm going to be scrubbing my hands for a good 30 minutes. <laughs> um, oh, I didn't mark it here, so this is $10 left. So I have $10 left in our groceries this paycheck, or this last paycheck, I should say. So there's that, and I'm going to kind of just figure out what I'm gonna do with the leftover money in a second after we go through this. So that, was one dollar and then on the 2nd of April as well I did eat out so that's this envelope here and I did get halal so I'm just gonna write in the category eating out 
And that ended up being, oh, I don't have the receipt in here either. I really try my best to keep my receipts in here, but sometimes when you're like in the middle of everything and you're picking up your food, you just kind of stuff your receipt somewhere. And that's what happened here. But um, I remember how much it was. It was, 1784 I believe so we're gonna write in 1784 so this is on the second halal 1784 and we did have $32 so let's just do a quick math so we have 32 minus 17.84 equals 14.16 and we put the change in our jar already so we should have $14 left let's just double check we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Perfect. So $14 left. I think that is amazing. I think we did really, really well. So that's what happened in week four. So we are going to just flip back to our March budget here. And let's kind of just fill in these numbers right here. So let's just fill in this part right here, which are the actuals for the second half of March's bills. So internet did come out and that came out to exactly $89.99. So there's no difference there. Spotify came out exactly as $15.89. Boom. Best Buy also $10.59 exactly. I actually found out that this is coming out April 3rd. So that's actually going to be in April's budget. So I'm going to leave this blank. Um, my gas did come out on the 31st and that was, it ended up being $2.62. If you guys haven't been following me for a while, I just moved. So this amount, this gas bill is very low because it was for like, I don't know, a week or a couple days. I don't really know. Um, so it's very low, but that was $2.62. Um, so the difference there, cause I really didn't know what it was. Is 262 and then Jim obviously nothing happened so there's that so let's just add this up right here and see what we get as a total compared to our budgeted So we are at $1,140.19. So I think we did really well there. Um, thankfully it was only a couple dollars off so we did pretty good here and keep in mind you guys Doing this budget, you know, it's never going to be perfect. You're not always going to have perfect numbers and that's okay. I feel like a lot of people who watch these budget videos really expect things to be perfect and to go exactly as it's planned and life is not like that. Things happen, things come up, you go over budget, it is what it is, but you learn and you take those lessons into the next month. So keep that in mind because March was a really weird month for everybody around the world and um, I'm gonna tell you right now my budget went crazy I went over my budget a lot because of just you know stocking up on certain things and just wanting to be prepared and I just moved so I, I got a few things for the apartment so just keep that in mind and don't be hard on yourself if you do go over you know your budgeted portions, it's okay, it's fine. The next thing we're going to look at are our variable expenses right down here. So this is what we budgeted for the month of March for our variable expenses. Um, again, just to go down really quick, we have groceries, eating out, entertainment, personal, and Uber slash Lyft. So what I'm going to do off camera because it's going to take a while is I am going to add up all of these expenses for each category. So all of these have a category, it should be one of these and I'm actually we have to add where should I put it right down here I guess the other category because obviously there's a lot of expenses that I wasn't expecting so I just kind of want to include that category as well so I'm going to take a moment and I'm going to add all of these up and then we're going to finish off our recap all right, everyone, I added everything up and I have my totals here so I'm just going to fill this in with you guys so Again, if you guys didn't catch it, these totals are pretty much from all of these expenses right here from each week. So let's just see how we did with our March 2020 budget. This is going to be pretty bad and I already know it, but it's okay. Like I'm not going to be hard on myself. It is what it is. All right, so for groceries, again, I have my totals here. I'm just going to put this to the side. Groceries, we ended up spending $200. $42.42. We only budgeted $150. We went over a lot. 
So we were over by $92.40. All right, okay, eating out. Our total for eating out over the month ended up being 65. 69 so we came in under you guys so let's do a little bit of calculations there had a difference of 34 31 so we were over 92 dollars and 42 cents here and we were under 34 dollars and 31 cents there okay entertainment we budgeted a hundred dollars and for the month of march we only spent 20 dollars so we were under by $80. So that's pretty good, right? All right, personal. We budgeted $150, and I ended up spending $130.98. So again, we did pretty well there. $150 minus $130.98. So we were under by $19.02. And then we have Uber and Lyft slash gas, anything transportation. We budgeted 120 and we end up only spending, which is not surprising, I don't know why I sound like I'm surprised, one, or I, we spent 55.79 because, you know, not too much was going on this month when it comes to traveling, going out to places. So we did really well in that category. So we were under by 64. 21. So as you guys can see, the categories that we did plan out, you know, we were under for most of them, but obviously groceries, we were over for that. Um, but you know, it's not a big deal, but I feel like it kind of like balances out and this is just a really great way to see where your money is going. And that's why I really like this budgeting. Okay. So the category <laughs> that we didn't expect was our other category, other or unbudgeted. You can name it whatever you want. We ended up spending... I'm just going to put it right down here, $498.35 in our other category. That is a lot. And this is a big reason why I cannot do zero-based budgeting. I need to have a large cushion in my checking account because of this reason. If something comes up and something needs to be purchased, I need to be able to purchase it. So um, obviously going over $500 in your monthly budget is not a great thing, but it happens. What do you want me to tell you? All right, so the total of our actuals is only $514.88. So we did really, really well here. So let's just do that difference. So we have 620 minus 514.88. So we pretty much we're under budget by $105.12. So to get the actual total, we're going to do 1140 point 19 plus this total down here 514 88 plus our other because this we have to add it in let's be honest oh let's see where we're at 498 okay so we ended up spending two thousand two hundred and fifty eight dollars when we budgeted seventeen fifty eight oh two oh why did i put Okay, 54. Oh my gosh, that looks terrible. Let me get my white out. 22.58.54. Doesn't look much better, but it's fine. Okay, so we're going to take that minus what we originally budgeted to see where we're at. 17.58.02 equals. We were over by $500.52. So yeah, there it is. Our total expenses. Let's just put it in here. 2000 258.54. All right, and obviously you can fill these in as you please. Um, as you guys know, I don't share my income with you guys, but you guys can definitely fill that in if you have a budget book or if you're budgeting yourself. So that is how we did for March. Again, being $500 over budget, not ideal, obviously, but it is okay. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know if you like these weekly check-ins and recaps.
Obviously, next month's budget is going to be April, and I'm going to be shifting and altering, you know, how I use my cash and if I'm using cash envelopes and stuff like that because, you know, the world's just going through a really odd time, so we have to adjust to what's happening in the world, and that's okay. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. It really, really helped me out. Also, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or just let me know how you are doing with your budgeting. Were you over in March? Are you budgeting? Were you over $500 like I was? It's okay if you are. Let me know. I would love to hear from you. Other than that, follow me on Instagram to keep up with me personally. Subscribe, comment, like. I love you guys. Thank you so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next video.